into adulthood, and in this species we didn't see that there was an effect, so it seems that it's really happening when they're larvae um, in, in the system. So that, that's where that, the, the big cost is, is up to, up to pupation. Um, we also looked at adult weight, so what's happening when they do emerge, the ones that survive, and we found that those that were fed facultative symbionts weighed more, which is kind of an interesting result. Um, and there's some, you know, we can, we can put some speculation on what that is. Um, you know, it might be that it just makes them sick, the symbionts make them sick, so only those that are really big and fit are gonna make it to adulthood. Um, and that's one of the thoughts that we have there. Um, and so just to sort of sum up this first part for this species here, we're seeing that survival from hatching to pupation, we are seeing a significant effect of symbiont, whatever the symbiont diet is, you know, whatever the aphid has. So we see that there's higher mortality in serratia and hamatinella. Um, those were the two that we tested in, in this species. Um, we don't see an impact on survival from pupation to adulthood, and we do see that there's an effect of weight at adult emergence, and that those fed um, aphids with symbionts have, uh, are, are larger um, as adults. So we then wanted to, uh, we were foolishly excited to do it again in a different species. Um, and like I said, Harmonia axoritis is, um, it's been introduced as a biological control. Um, we sort of went outside on Spelman campus and wanted to see what kind of ladybugs we had locally. And it turned out that they were all these multicolored uh, Asian lady beetles that were re uh, released um, in Georgia for pecan control, uh, to control aphids and pecans sometime in the 70s or 80s. And now we sort of find them everywhere. They're the ones that um, overwinter in everybody's house. It's not really bad. So we basically did the experiment again. We added uh, we added Regiella in um, because you know we were getting better at it. So we decided to put another one in. Um, so this is this is the other species, and we again looked at survival from larva to pupa. And interestingly, we saw. Well, so interestingly, but we saw that there was no effect on the survival. So the, the diet, the aphid diet, and the symbiont in the aphid diet didn't seem to have an effect, uh, which is what we had seen in the other species, um, but that didn't seem to be the case here. Um, now what's interesting is that we did see an effect um, from pupil to adult survival. So serratia and regiella seemed to, they were less likely to make it through pupation, right? So they would make it to a pupa, but they were less likely to make it through pupation um, than those that had been fed no symbiont or those who, that had been fed aphids with hamatinella as their symbiont. So this was, this was our, our, our place where we did see our significant results um, for this group. Um, and interestingly as well, um, those that had been fed um, uh, aphids with the facultative symbiont serration and regiella um, as larva weighed less as adults. So we're seeing a little bit of, again, a significant result. That's these guys here. Um, they're split between male and female, but only females, actually, I should say that. So only females weigh significantly less. Males, there's no effect of, of symbiont on their final weight. Um, and so that's, that's the top here are females, down here are the males, and then we've got our symbiont weights there. Particularly in, in red gel, we see we see a lot less. So to sort of uh, sum this one up, again, we don't see an effect on survival from hatching to pupation um, in, in this species. We do see an impact on survival from pupation to adulthood, particularly in serratia and regiella. And again, these two symbionts both seem to be affecting adult weight at emergence and that the females are smaller. So, so there seems to be that, that sort of movement there. Okay, so to sort of compare these two species, um, you'll notice that the, uh, there's, you know, there's a little, there's some differences, right? So it seems that they're both, the, these facultative symbionts are affecting both of our predator species, right? And, and ladybugs really do like to eat aphids. Um, that here we're seeing an effect more in the larval stages. In this species, we're seeing an effect more on, in the, in, during the pupil stage. Um, but that in both of these cases, there is a significant effect on the survivorship of the predator. Um, and that, interesting, they're both affecting weight in some way. Um, and in one case, we're getting larger female, or getting larger individuals, and in the other one, we're getting smaller females uh, through their weight. Which is 
which is interesting, right? It suggests that maybe there's different mechanisms, there's a lot of different variety, um, and that we don't actually expect that all of these all of these symbionts are affecting their host in the same way. So there's 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 a lot of possible mechanisms that are going on, um, and and really the question it leaves with is, is how general is this kind of protection? Um, and sort of the next step forward is to look at something that's not a beetle, right? So looking at another another aphid predator, um, particularly maybe lace wings. Um, some other species of, of, um, of aphid predator uh, that, and to see if their, their survival is being affected as well. And then also, like Victor said, looking at a natural system, right? So what's actually happening in nature? What do we see um, in, in these, these systems? Right now, you know, our, our first species came from Carolina Biological Supply, right? <laughs> the other, the, the aphid species are our total lab species, our, our Ladybug larva in the second experiment did come from nature, but it'd be really interesting to see what's going on and how that's affecting how those dynamics are coming through. So, um, with that, I, I'm going to wrap up because I guess it's a little bit early. Um, so, I'd like to thank my, my wonderful undergrads who spent a lot of time um, making ladybugs not eat each other, and, and I can take any questions. Thank you.